Hello and welcome back. My name is Dr. Cheryl Lentz, owner of the Refractive Thinker Press. Today our focus is on tips for postgraduate writing is on the analysis and discussion of the results of your research study, Chapter 5 in the graduate thesis format and for most doctoral dissertations. The purpose of Chapter 5 is what does it all mean? The goal of Chapter 5 is to analyze and discuss your findings as presented in Chapter 4 to offer your reader the broader context of your contribution. Why is what you found important and relevant to your audience, your sample population, and the general body of knowledge? Why should we care? Remember the focus here is to now offer analysis and discussion of your findings, to place into proper context of your literature review and the theoretical framework, and to wrap up your overall study with the appropriate elements that comprise the conclusion section. What is the purpose? Analysis and discussion of the data results, according to Plano, Clark, and Cresswell. Our goal for Chapter 5 is fourfold, to provide your interpretation of the results, to return to the original purpose and problem statement to offer reflection and context, to cohesively bring together all previous chapters to discuss the strengths and weaknesses to help readers understand your study's overall meaning and implications, and lastly, to offer recommendations for further study. Think of this presentation from your point, reader's point of view. Chapter 4 presents the results, while Chapter 5 offers what these results may be. Organization is key to the success of these chapters. Remember that each chapter must have its own introduction and conclusion. As with chapters 1 through 4, each chapter must always present this introduction, which introduces your chapter and your writing objectives, your body paragraphs, which cover the details, and a conclusion which reviews the main points as offered by your chapter, as well as reviews the writing objectives from your introduction to prove that these writing expectations have been met. For our final Chapter 5, we must also present a conclusion for the overall study, as well as review of the overall writing objectives for the study as we bring your final study to a final close. Be sure to integrate all four chapters in your Chapter 5, as this is your final opportunity for your study to bring it full circle and offer your reader the significance of your findings meant to justify the importance of why you began this quest back in Chapter 1. Let me once again invite you to find at least three samples for studies from your respective universities that mirrors your study for you to closely follow its logic, format, overall organization, presentation, subheading titles, and perhaps even design. Our purpose for Chapter 5 is to complete the story that your problem statement began where your data offers discussion of findings and analysis, relationship of your findings to your original research questions, limitations of your study, as well as to offer a framework of the interpretation of how these results relate back to your initial problem statement and purpose statement, and then of course offer recommendations for future research. Remember to include both a summary and a conclusion and to be sure to clearly understand the difference between these two writing fundamentals. Congratulations! You have now completed your academic research study of either the doctoral dissertation or the graduate thesis. Kudos to you! For more tips on effective postgraduate writing, to include both videos and transcripts, please visit my blog at www.refractivethinker.com backslash wordpress. Thank you again for joining me. Again, my name is Dr. Cheryl Lentz. I've enjoyed our time together, and I hope that you'll find these suggestions for this five-part series for crafting an effective doctoral dissertation or graduate thesis within these videos helpful. Much, con much continued success and luck to you as your academic and professional journeys continue. Cheers!